Do you think Mama can read 149 books in 114 days? He shook his head. You see that? Hey guys, it's Zoe, and today we're going to be asking the biggest question of the year. Can I finish 149 books in less than four months? The answer is no. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. As of last night, I finished my 51st book of the year. And that's an insane amount, except normally I read a lot more. And I know, I know, I had a baby this year, I pushed out a whole human, and I was growing a human for part of this year, but I have had a lot of downtime. So like technically I should have gotten more reading done, but it is what it is. Now I'm going to try to cram for the rest of the year to hit this Goodreads goal. It means literally nothing to anyone except for me, but I'm very competitive with myself. So I set the goal at the beginning of the year. I know I can change it, but I'm not going to because I set the damn number and I'm going to read the damn books. The thing is though, the last time I looked, while I haven't read too many actual books, the books I have been reading have been massive. Let me pull up my little Goodreads year in review so far because out of the 51 books, I'm pretty sure the average page count is close to 400, which is higher than it was last year, 2019 year in review, 150 books, 55, almost 56,000 pages, average was 372 pages. 2020 so far, I've read 51 books, so I don't understand. Okay. Anyways, it says 50 books, 2000, 2000, 20,542 pages, average is 410 pages. That average is going to drop way down low because I'm rereading a bunch of older YA series. I talked about it in my September TBR. I will leave that linked down below and up this way, I think it is. I don't know. I'm reading a lot of shorter series, longer series with shorter books rather. And then if I bang out enough of them, I will go back to my adult fantasy because I loved them. I don't even know where I'm going with this video. It's just going to be kind of like plans for the rest of the year. So I mentioned in my September TBR that part of my October TBR is going to be the private series, which is hella long. I think it's another like almost 20 book series, I think. Something like that. And then once I find the rest of the books for the spin-off series, I'm going to be reading that. It's called Privilege. I have the first two or three. I'm looking down there like I can fucking see. I don't have my glasses on. I can't even see the viewfinder in the camera. Like I, it's all a blur to me. So what the hell am I doing looking over there? I am also going to be reading the Animorph series once I find the first book. So I have about Again, I'm trying to look over there like I can fucking see. I've got at least 20 of those. And I know I have like the first 10, almost all of them, except like the first one. So once I find that one, then I'm going to crack out a bunch of those. And then I'm going to be rereading the um, Confessions of George Nicholson series by Louise Renison. Once I get the last couple books of the Twitches series. I'm going to be rereading that. I've read the first seven, I think. This is a lot closer. Seven. Yes. Ooh, I thought that was Draco. I stepped on. It was a book. So there's three more books in that series that I'm going to be reading. And then those were always super quick reads. I tend to reread the Chronicles of Narnia almost every year for some reason. Probably going to end up rereading that. I would have reread a series of unfortunate events because I love, 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 love the series up until the very ending. <sighs> the ending pissed me off so much. I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to spoil. Just know that it pissed me off. So I don't know if I want to reread that series because I don't want to feel that anger again. What else am I going to do this year to try and hit my goal? Stop going on fucking Twitter so much. What a concept. I actually listen to the audiobooks that I have and not just dick around and forget to turn them on all the time. What a concept! Oh my god, sit the fuck down and read. That's it, that's all I gotta do, and then I'll get this done. If you didn't know, I don't, I don't know when the last time I talked about it was. Bless you, Draco. I'm a really fast reader. I can read at least 100 pages an hour, and that's with fantasy. Romance, I read a lot faster. Couldn't fucking tell you why. It's probably something to do with the world building and the density. Something like that. I don't know. What else? What else? What else? Bless you. I have been finding ebooks for a lot of the books that I've been reading. Well, right now, all the Gossip Girl ones that I'm reading, my library has 
almost all of them, and then the other library around here has the other couple that the one didn't have. I found that when I'm reading ebooks at night, instead of like trying to, you know, read like this, and then book falls on my face. If I just have the ebook on my phone, it's a lot easier, especially easier to read an ebook one-handed while feeding Carter, instead of, you know, having to like hold him here, prop the bottle with my face, and then flip the page, and then go back to holding the bottle. My acting skills are top notch. You're welcome. Realistically, I will probably fall short. If I even hit 150, which is the same amount that I read last year, I'll be happy. That's 99 books in less than four months. There is, I think, like 114 days left in the year I saw earlier today. 114 and then like the rest of today, which is about half the day. 99 books and 100, I could do it. Like if you remember back to my December TBR, December wrap up, that's the thing that we do at the end of the month. The TBR is at the beginning of the month. I know what I'm talking about. My December 2019 wrap up, I read 44 books in one month. So that's gonna need to happen again for September, October, November, and December. I know the months of the year. Pat on the back. Yes, bitch. Oh my God. I've officially lost my damn mind. I think I'm also gonna reread the Pretty Little Liar series. I have a couple more books that I need to find to complete that one. And then I will reread the beautiful series by Christina Lauren. I'll be back. Is Carter needed my mask? You're a weirdo. Carter is being a little fussy, so he wanted to come say hi. Look at this little boy. That drool all over him. Curtis is in the corner over there being a fucking weirdo, and we love it. Yes. Hello, handsome. Hello, handsome. This is the library. You remember this place? He's gonna be five months old this weekend. Oh, yes, my big boy. Carter. Do you think Mama can read 149 books in 114 days? He shook his head. You see that? He shook his head. Hi, Curtis. Bye, Curtis. Love you. Love you. So this is just going to be a super short fucking video. Oh, I forgot to say something at the beginning. Mama forgot to say something. In other news, right before I started filming this video, we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel. Yay! Do you care? No. You just gotta focus on being the most handsome man in the whole world. Is that your big brother Draco down there? This video is going nowhere. I don't even know what the whole point of this video was except to shame myself into reading faster. Focus on actually reading. There was a hair in my mouth. One of his hairs. Love that so much. So I'm just gonna wrap this up and get to filming my organization pre-bookshelf tour type thing because that's gonna be going up next week. Let me know down below in the comments if you think that I can complete this goal or if you think I am just completely stupid. Either one is valid. Or you can tell me if you are close to hitting your goal for the books read, what the hell am I saying? Your goal for books read this year, or if you've passed it, if you've passed it, congratulations. I'm sending you virtual cookies. Hi, Hanson. Carter's gonna give you snuggles if you've hit your goal for the year. He said yes. Or if that's just too much or you don't have a lot of time, drop some hearts down below, preferably purple ones because that's my favorite color. What's your favorite color gonna be? I don't know. We'll find out one day. <laughs>2030. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, all at Zoe's All Booked. I almost said your book nerd Zoe again. Will this ever end? Probably not. Which I will leave linked down below. Stop pulling Mama's hair, please. Along with a link to Book Depository. If you buy books through that link, I get a small 5% commission at no extra cost to you. There is a Discord, a Patreon, you can leave a tip on my coffee, and I feel like there's something else, but I truly cannot fucking remember right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. This just does not feel fucking real. Oh my goodness. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I love you awesome nerds, and I will see you in the next one, which I will start filming in five, four, three, two, one.